this vision that we can expect? I mean, can you give us a little teaser on that? I mean, what I know yes. this is super powerful. I mean, I'm personally looking forward to it a lot. Like I'm going to be super engaged, find the best seat in the house and, and kind of go with this. So you know, give us a little bit of what people can expect and you know, what, why is it so powerful? Yes. I'm, I'm really excited about this. And, uh, it was interesting how it came about because I mean, I, I mean, I've been to so many events and whether it was multifamily events or otherwise, uh, where somebody is walking you through like a goal setting or a vision type of exercise. And what you find is that and they tend like these speakers or trainers or coaches, they ch- jump very quickly to goals. And there's nothing per se wrong with that. Like if you've got goals versus no goals, you're in an amazing position (laughs) because we know that if you have goals, you're going to at least to some degree go towards it. The problem is that um, human beings, like we don't really look at our life as goals. We look at our life as experiences. Like in our, at the basic level, when we think of our life, it's that we're seeking experiences. And within these experiences, there's growth that tends to happen. There's a journey that comes along. And um, so initially it starts with a vision. And and that vision is that, hey, we all like when we, for example, when somebody comes into the multifamily space, somebody gives them this, somebody gives them this idea of life of freedom, right? They don't tell them, well, uh, you should be getting $10,000. What they tell them, they give them a picture. Hey, imagine yourself not having to worry about the next paycheck, waking up, not with an alarm, but with your own schedule. Imagine spending that time with your family. Imagine going towards the things that, these are all pictures. These are all experiences that people are naturally seeking. The problem is that most people get their ready-made version of vision from somebody. And this goes as far back in your childhood as you can remember, because initially your parents will give you a version of that vision. Your society will give you a version of that vision. And most multifamily investors have gone through that up until 30, 40, 50 years of their age. And they fulfilled that vision. They came to a point, they got that success in their job or whatever context. And then they look back uh, in the words of Alan Watts, um, one of my favorite philosophers, like with a certain certain sense of feeling cheated. This is it. <laughs> <laughs> it was it, they achieved their goals there was nothing wrong with the goal but it wasn't aligned with who they were and, and that's where your vision comes in because a vision is much more expansive than a few goals it encompasses the experiences that you're trying to create it encompasses the person that you're becoming in the process the leader that you're becoming the human being that you're becoming and it encompasses how you ideally want to interact with your family and friends it encompasses the kind of community you're creating it encompasses the kind of purpose that you're going towards, the legacy that you're leaving behind. It basically helps you see that future experience that you're going to create. And I love the whole process. And one of the things I'll be doing is I'll actually be walking people through the experience of it. Part of it is that you actually write down what your expansive vision is going to be, but that's very mental. What I love doing is kind of getting people to go deep down into their vision and feel it and experience it. And that's where you people, like somebody will see it and one of two experiences will happen. They get so excited about it. They see their vision. They see who they're becoming. They see that future version of themselves. They see what they're creating. And now it's a reality. It's not just a goal. It's a reality in their mind. Or they're going to see it and they're they're still going to be excited and they're going to be like, holy shoot, I'm not going towards that. I yeah, which maybe just some powerful, other things. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm literally going to walk people through that, uh, that, getting them to build that vision and walking them through the experience of it and actually feel it, actually see what they're building based on who they are in their heart, based on what matters to them and their purpose and legacy. And once they see that fully, then we don't need motivation anymore. Like motivation becomes obsolete because your motivation is from your vision they get re-enrolled into their own vision. And all they have to do is now keep remembering and keep going through that same thing. And then the goals that emerge out of that, the strategic goals will be fully based on that vision. And no matter what other people are doing, what other people are working on, comparison and all these other stuff starts to kind of dissipate as you start to work to live that vision. Yeah, man, that's... That's powerful. I mean, and it's so exciting. And I think one thing I've learned, again, probably mostly through coaching is that you can design your life, right? You you can actually like 
play a huge role in who you want to be and who you, you will become. And it's not necessarily society, your job or your education. Or, you know, it's like by the actions you take, the vision you set, the goals you set, you can you can create this life, right? So that's something that's been incredibly powerful for me. So um, yeah, I mean, I don't want to hammer the event too hard. I'm just really, really, really excited about it. So 